Hello, welcome. In today's class, I'm going to show you the easiest and the fastest way to sell any cryptocurrency for cash on Binance and transfer it to your Canadian bank account. In our last class, I showed you how to transfer Bitcoin to Binance using a Canadian crypto exchange called ShakePay. If you missed that class, I'm going to leave the link to the video up here. But for today's class, I'm going to show you step by step on how to sell any cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin for Canadian dollars on Binance and then withdraw the money into your Canadian bank account using P2P trading. So what is P2P trading? P2P trading is simply peer-to-peer -peer trading that allows two individuals to exchange cryptocurrency for Canadian dollars. So let's get right into it. Step one, once you log into your Binance account, you're going to come on the wallet and go to Fiat and Spot. Right in your Fiat and Spot wallet, you're going to see the different types of coin that you have. As you can see here, I have Bitcoin, I have Dance, Ada, Chili's, okay? And this is what we're going to be converting into Canadian dollars that we're going to send into our bank account. For the purpose of today's video, I'm going to be selling Bitcoin into Canadian dollars. So let's say, for example, now you have other types of coin apart from Bitcoin, ADA, right? And you just wanted to convert it to Canadian dollars. The first thing that you're going to do, you're going to come under P2P trading. And right under P2P trading, if you click on sell, as Canadians, we have the option to sell any of our cryptocurrencies into any of these six coins, that is USDT, BTC, BUSD, BND, ETH and DAI. So for example, if you don't have any of this coin and you wanted to convert, let's say ADA into Canadian dollars, you have to first of all sell that either into either USDT or Bitcoin or any of those coin. Okay. So once you have any of those coin, the next thing that we're going to do step two is to transfer the coin from a spot wallet into P2P. So if you go back to your fiat and spot wallet, again, this just shows you the coin that you currently have. And now I need to send the Bitcoin into P2P wallet. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come on the transfer. Once you click on transfer, we can see from here that we can transfer from our fiat and spot into our P2P. Okay. The next thing you're going to select the coin here, we're going to be transferring Bitcoin. We want to sell Bitcoin for cash. The maximum amount of Bitcoin that I have is here. So I can just say, okay, I want to just sell everything. If you don't want to sell everything, you can, you can just put the quantity of the Bitcoin or the coin that you want to sell here. Okay. And the next thing you're going to do, you're going to click on confirm. Okay. Again, you're transferring from your fiat and spot into your P2P wallet. Okay. So go ahead and click confirm. Once you see that, it says transfer successful. So now I'm going to go into my P2P wallet and I'm going to say show. And here you can see the Bitcoin that we just transferred from our fiat and spot. If you were to go back to your fiat and spot, you can see that I don't have any Bitcoin anymore because I just literally sent the Bitcoin from my fiat and spot into my P2P wallet. Okay. So as we can see right in our P2P wallet show, this is what we're going to be selling into our Canadian dollars. So step three, the next thing that you need to do is to sell your coin via P2P trading. So we're going to sell this Bitcoin for Canadian dollars. So next thing, come here and go on the P2P trading. Again, we want to sell. So you're going to click on sell. 
So right here, you're going to see the list of all the sellers, right, that are willing to accept Bitcoin or any of your coin in exchange for Canadian dollars. Okay, so remember that we have BTC, right? So I'm going to select BTC. Let's say, for example, now you have USDT or BUSD or any of those coins. You're just going to click on it, right? So I'm going to select BTC. So the next thing, I want to transfer this into my Canadian bank account. So I'm going to sell the BTC. Any of the seller that I go with is going to transfer the Canadian equivalents to my Canadian bank account. Okay, again, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the next thing that you're going to do, because I just want this to be interact to me, I'm going to come under all payment. I'm going to type in interact. Right. Once you type in interact, it's going to show you the list of the sellers that are willing to accept interact as a form of payment. Okay, if you scroll down, you're going to see different forms, PayPal, Tangerine. But again, just for simplicity, I'm just going to do interact. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do, you're going to select a seller right here. Okay, this seller accepts $100, about 10,000 Canadian dollars. If you scroll all the way down, you're going to see different sellers. This accept $10 to $200. But the beautiful thing about this is that the one on top, that's the one I usually go for because, again, you get more, right? Because the more you go lower, the, the less money you're going to get in exchange. Okay, so again, I'm just going to go with this first person, this one. Um, completion is 86 mm, no I really don't really like that too much but it's still cool you know because I'm gonna get more for, for my money right so again I'm gonna select sell BTC okay so go ahead and click on sell BTC and here it's telling me that I have 30 minutes right for the payment limit and this price here so I want to sell I want to sell everything Okay, and it's telling me I'm going to get 122 for this. So I'm going to click on this, set up my payment method. Okay, set up. And right here, this is where you're going to say add a payment method. Remember, we're going to be sending Interact, right? The person is going to send us Interact. So I'm going to click add a payment method. Go ahead and click it. And again, so you're going to go ahead and click more. I'm going to put in here interact, select interact. So it's going to show your name. Then again, so here you're going to put in your email address. The interact is going to show my name and you're going to enter the email associated with your interact account. Okay. Make sure that you already have interact set up with your bank. You know, that's the easiest way for us to send um money in canada okay so you're going to enter the email associated with your interact account okay so click on confirm so here you're going to get the security verification it's going to be sent to my phone so i'm just going to say send code so i'm going to put in the code So once you add the email, it's going to bring you to this page and right on this page, you're going to see your name and your account. Okay. And right underneath your account, you're going to see your email address and your full name right under the name. So we're going to go back to P2P trading. Sell. We're selling BTC and we just want interact. So select interact. Once you click the interact, you're going to go back to the same seller again. You're going to click on sell. And again, I want to sell everything, sell all. And this is how much I'm going to get. And right underneath the payment method, you can see the interact payment method that we just set up a few minutes ago, right? A few seconds ago, right? So once that is done, the next thing you're just going to click on sell BTC. You see successfully placed an order right on this page it's just going to show me that this is the amount i'm going to get this is the price of btc and this is the quantity of btc that i just sold this is going to be sent to 
my interact account right remember that we entered the email account and the payment is going to be made within 29 minutes from now okay so i'm just going to wait for that to happen so right here now within you know 15 minutes less than 15 minutes as you can see i got a notification on my phone that the seller has already sent me the money and now I have about 14 minutes just to confirm this and release this. I just got an email that this person sent me the same amount. So I'm going to deposit it into my Canadian bank account. If I had auto deposit, this would have just gone into my bank account. But again, I'm just going to confirm this. So again, because I don't have auto deposit, I'm asking the seller for what's the security answer. now i can go ahead and release the the confirmation right and this is just to confirm that i received this amount in my bank and that's in my canadian bank account so i can go ahead and just confirm this and you're going to click confirm release check this box confirm release so as you can see i just confirmed that the payment has been received right the seller sent me the 123.29 canadian dollars and i accepted that in my bank account okay so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to accept this so click send code then i'm going to receive a text message on my phone and i'm going to just enter that and yes yeah, so right now i can see that the order has been marked complete so that's just the easiest way for you to sell your bitcoin or any cryptocurrency into canadian dollars and you just withdraw it into your bank so we've come to the end of today's class if you have any question whatsoever let me know in the comment section below i read all your comment if you found any value whatsoever in today's class make sure you give this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share and i really really appreciate the support and until then i'll see you in the next class bye bye